Nina, you've brought a great project today, and I know it's a really unusual sewing technique. It is, Susan, and a very fun technique. It's done with clothesline and fabric. Strips of fabric. Strips of fabric. And one of our two double cording feet, okay. either 59C or 60C, depending on the size of clothesline. Um, I simply have strips of fabric, and you know, you can buy the jelly rolls now that are two and a half inches wide. Just cut them in half. So you don't even have to cut the first? No, it's very easy. Or if you aren't using strips like this, you can cut bias strips. I'm going to use one of the two feet. So if we look at these, we use them because they are the double cording feet. And if I look at the bottom, I have two grooves for cord. on the bottom for the clothesline to fit in. And again, it depends on what size clothesline you're using. To get started, you choose a strip of fabric and just wrap the clothesline, wrap it at an angle so that it overlaps. So the cord is completely covered. That's correct. You don't need to wrap with the entire strip at one time. You can wrap small segments and then to hold that you can put glue stick right here just to hold it while you work with it. Sounds easy enough. After you've wrapped a distance on the clothesline, just fold it in half and this will actually determine the size and shape of your project. Put so it that's under the, the base foot. of the project? That's the base of the project. Put it under the foot, choose a zigzag stitch and I generally just use the default settings unless I, I need to tweak it at all and make that stitch a little bit wider, you are just using an open zigzag. When I get to the end of that uh, first fold, I'm just going to raise my foot and pivot this and just bring it around. So now my foot is straddling the next two rounds of cord. And as this gets bigger, I don't have to pick that up and pivot it. I can just keep turning it. And so it's as simple as zigzagging. That's very interesting. I love And now as I come around the end of the purse, I'm just going to pick it up. And move it around. So you're just building the purse a row at a time. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to do a purse, you can just leave this flat and you make a really wonderful mat. Like a trivet or a placemat? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Well, Nina, this is a really fun project. It is, Susan. To learn more about this technique, visit BerninaUSA.com or see your local Bernina dealer today. Mm -hmm.